Tennessee River, the Mississippi mud There's no other place that I wish I was Oh, high river, a big wing lake The rest of the world's gonna have to wait While I'm catfishing America You just don't get better than this This time on Catfishing America, we're heading to the Red River of the North to fish between the cities of Grand Forks, North Dakota and East Grand Forks, Minnesota, home to some of the greatest channel catfishing on the planet. You know, a lot of people misinterpret just how strong and just how large these channel catfish can become. This is one river where you won't be second guessing five minutes after you sit here fishing. There are some giants up in the mid to high 30 pound class that have been brought in here. This is probably one of the few destinations in the United States where an angler can come any time of the thawed out portion of the season and have a chance at a legitimate 20 to 25 pound channel cat. We're gonna be joining Captain Kent Hollins. He is a professional guide here that definitely is known for big fish and I know his personal best is up in them 30s as well. As we're fishing here today, I want you to take in the sights, the sounds, the surroundings of this Grand Forks, East Grand Forks area. It's a great place to bring your family. It's a great place to have a vacation. And of course, while you're here, enjoy some of this big cat fishing. So sit back, relax. I got a feeling that you're gonna learn something that would enable you to come up here and have a great time with Kent on the Red River of the North. Now, just like I promised, I'm here to introduce you to the man, the myth, the legend, Captain Kent Hollins. He is the guide here on this Red River of the North. And Kent, I've got a feeling that you got all kinds of cool scenarios that you're gonna have us fishing here today. I'm hoping to. Fish are coming out of post spawn. We're gonna be fishing in the snags. and We'll try all different types of areas, try to get you on some nice fish today. And you know, I've heard he's caught 30s and stuff. People been with him and catching them big monster fish. Eric, you might even get you a big fish this time. Hey, I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's go ahead. We're gonna move the boat. We're gonna get set up on a spot. I got a feeling some good things will be happening on this trip. Stay tuned. As far as what I'm using here for catfishing, it's a simple bait casting rod, and bait casting reel. I like using medium heavy, me medium light rods, preferably eight, nine feet in length. Uh, I spool my reels with braided, braided line. It's a little tougher, lasts a little longer in the snags. And I bring that down to my leader and sinker. I use the, the no roll sinkers on the river here. They work the best that I've found so you're once you get your bait in place, it's not floating all over and chance of snags. I use a little rubber surgical tubing between the sinker and my swivel so when I'm casting, the sinker is not busting on the knot. I tend not to lose as many sinkers that way. From there, I go to a snap swivel and I go to a barrel swivel onto my mono leader, which I use 30 pound mono down to my circle hook. And the reason I use these snaps and swivels is if I lose a snag, I'm going to lose my mono and I haven't lost a sinker yet this year and when I need to replace it I just take one of my pre-made lines snap it on I'm good to go again these setups you can get these from anywhere from thirty forty dollars all the way up to two hundred so anybody can enjoy catfishing from the beginner to the expert this is what we use for bait on the Red River one of the favorites is the gold eye they're plentiful on the river you can catch them with a bobber and a worm anywhere behind a snag and a foot of water the other one is the common white sucker. Uh, they come in lengths from 2, 3 inches all the way up to 12, 13 inches. As far as fall, I prefer frogs. Uh, when they start their fall movements, frogs seem to work the best during that time of year. And as far as how we prepare these baits for the hooks, what I usually do is I take the tail, cut the tail portion off, and cut them in half inch to 3 quarter inch strips from the spine down to the belly. This is what you'd use for your bait. You'd slide your hook through the skin. They, they tend to stay on the bait, on the hook really well. As far as the baits on the Red River, these are your top two.
Tell the viewers about the kind of spot, you know, what you're looking at here in the scenario that we're fishing. One of the things I look for when I'm fishing early morning is a flat off a deeper, a deeper run or a cut. There's a cut along the bank here that drops down to about 14 feet, and it comes up here to 10, 12 feet. And there's a couple little troughs running horizontally across the river. The fish seem to come out into this in the, in the evenings and feed, and if you get here soon enough in the morning, they're still out there in the mornings. So a nice transitional spot where they're, where they're uh, spending their early morning or late night hours? Yeah, more towards the afternoons when it starts to warm up, they're going to start getting into your snags and deeper holes okay. and find some structure to, to hang out in. So the odds are we might be able to pop a couple here and start the morning off right. That's the intention. All right. Right here on the North Dakota Minnesota border in Grand Forks and East Grand Forks, we've got phenomenal fishing for catfish, but there's still a lot more to do when you come visit. If you start out on the river on the banks, we got the Greenway with trail system, park system, and we also have golf courses, and then we have Restaurant Row. We have downtown with shops, town square, a lot of activities going on for you and the family. We can't wait to play host next summer for you and your family and your friends. Come fishing in our community. Please come and join us, and feel free to let us know if you need anything when you're here. Hey, I got one hitting here, too. Oh. What the, you're I got it. You got him? Yep, I got him. How's he feel? He feels good. I'm getting real good. Good, good, or oh, real boy. good? Oh, boy. Yep, real good. Oh, I don't like I mean, great, great job, Eric. <sighs> Was he straight down or what? Yeah, he's straight down under the boat here now. Not budging? He's staying deep. Yeah, he's staying real deep. There we go. I think we're getting close to the, the sinker. You see it? Not yet. There's, There's the sinker. The sinker. Boy, this water is dark colored, really muddy. Oh, oh, look at the shoulders on that one. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, went back down. Here we go. He's going to come back up. One more try at him. He's got some good shoulders on him, though. There we go. All right. Nice job. <laughs> That's the one that was fighting my life. Uh -huh. All right. What a oh. Dawn, of course, has taken my saying. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there it is. Red River Channel Cats. You just can't beat these type of channels. I mean, this is just awesome. Well, what do you think he's going to do? Very nice. Is he bigger than 25? He won't go 25. He'll go an easy 20. Yeah. 20 pounds. Look at that. Oh, my. Solid in the stomach. Yeah, he is. Big old fish. Very active fish here. How long the whiskers are on that one? Not get wet. I haven't yet made it without getting soaking wet. 
Oh, hey, I didn't get wet that time. Now, I know you've been seeing all this monster catfish action, and we're here at the wrong time of year. I've got with me Ruth Ann Schleife of the Cats Incredible Tournament. This is one of the largest catfish tournaments in the entire United States. And, and Ruth Ann, this probably started off a lot smaller a couple decades ago. What kind of an average entry do you guys get now? Now we fill our tournament field, 150 teams, and uh, we have anglers very, very anxious to compete. Man, you know, somebody was telling me you guys even got a waiting list. We do, we do. Uh, we have to hold a lottery drawing in order to fill the 150 team field. And uh, we just, it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Hey cat anglers, to learn tips and techniques that'll help you catch those big cats, join us on the Cabela's King Cat Trail, where you have a chance to win big bucks and improve your catfishing skills. Give us a call or visit us on the web to obtain more information. They're all good here on the Red River. Oh, I'm gonna tell you what, and this thing clobbered it so fast that we couldn't get the camera over here to show you the clobber. But he, there was no hesitation at all. This was a, one of them e-ticket rides straight to the doggone water. This tip was dancing on the bottom of the boat, and we're just bringing him right on in now. He's a quality fish in this current. I tell you what, I like reeling in, you know, those two pounders. I like reeling in twenty pounders. You know, looks like he might have gotten a line, Ken. Is that two? Oh, both lines. He's always way over there at the bank. Look at that, man. Okay, who? Move over here, man. This guy's got me square dancing. Inside this one. Going over towards the bank. Gee, my knee. Now he's in that line. No, he's underneath the outside. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can't get over here and get some room to work so we can see him as he clears the top of the water. There he comes. There he comes. He's, yeah, he's, he's acting all squirrely. I think he saw the boat is what it is. He's getting ready to get up here. I'm going to see a sinker here in a minute. Oh, we keep seeing that boat. Making them little dives now. Boy, I like He's limber. acting a lot like that other one, going back underneath the yeah, boat. Yeah, I like these nice and limber rods, man. It kind of shows you which direction the fish is going. Here comes a sinker any second now. He's, and keep in mind, he's swimming against a pretty powerful current here. Getting close. Getting close. Closer. Closer. Close. Oh, there was a sinker. Oh, as soon yep. as he showed us the sinker, he went right back down. There it is. There's a sinker. Oh, there's Big Boil. Nice fish. Big Boil. Oh, yeah. yeah he feels nice. Big Boils? This fish just might shock us. What do you think? The way he hit it, it wouldn't surprise me. There, there he it goes. Is. Holy <laughs> smoke! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you quick googly move? Are you kidding? Woo! Hello. Hello. Man, look at this guy. Jaws. Dun, 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 dun. Hello. Wow, look at it. Did you see that mouth? I think you got another 25-pounder there. Woo! Are you kidding me? This thing took this thing like it was going to Idaho, and he was just toying with me. We, we get him up here closing. He scoops. He scoops. And scores. Nope. Yeah. He ain't ready. Ready. No. <laughs> He scooped and blew it. Woo! Wow, look at that fish. Not a fish. Oh, yeah, there you go. Way to go. Look at that dark. <laughs> Look at that hog. Massive hog. <laughs> Woo! Good things come to those who wait. You know, I just said, Eric, just, just catch them all. Just catch them all, Eric. That's what I kept saying. Take this one that crashes into the ground. Take that one that buries. Take this one that buries. Take that one that buries. And finally, I decided to catch a fish. And bam! Bada boom, bada bing. Are you kidding? Wait till I lift oh. up this thing. If ever we caught a fish in that... I'm going to let you do a guide stimate on this fish. Well, about 27 pounds of freshness. Look at the mug on this guy. The length, 34 inches. Clearly a male. He's got these big old knots on his head. You know, the fish of a lifetime on anybody's water. And, you know, to get a 25 and a 27 in the same day, unbelievable. This guy is clearly, clearly an awesome fish. You don't have to go to... Canada, you don't have to go there. You need to come here and see Kent. Kent is what has put us on these hogs all day. You know, that first fish this morning, bam. This, and, and, this, and this next fish for me, you know, I kept passing on fish, passing on fish, passing on fish, you know, and boom, what happens? Good things happen. 
get out here with Kent. I'm gonna tell you what, he knows all the holes, all the spots, all the flats. You know, awesome things are happening out here with Kent. You need to give Kent a call. Obviously. Woo! Look at the look at the noggin on this guy. Have you seen his mouth, by the way? I don't know who's bigger, mine or his. You know. Probably mine, you know. I mean, look at a big old giant knots on his head. You know, obviously a spawning male. Unbelievable. Real dark colors. Awesome fish, man. Awesome fish. This is the biggest channel cat I've ever caught. Tennessee River, the Mississippi mud. No other place that I wish I was. Oh, high river or Barclay Lake. The rest of the world's gonna have to wait for I'm catfishing America. It just don't get better than this. I'm catfishing America. Cause I was born to fish I'm catfishing America 34 inches of fun ah. Dare I put my, no I ain't, I ain't that bad <laughs> Woo! Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh. Instant a big, a big giant see fish crash. A this big fish is crash. jerking so hard. We just released that one 27 pounder that Dawn just caught. And this rod comes down and bangs against the side of the boat. Seems like the later we get, the bigger they get. You know? Oh man, this is a creature. This is an awesome creature. Wow. We're coming up. I just can't even believe this. I cannot believe this. In one spot, this many monsters. There's the there. circle. There we this go. This many monsters. There's a sinker. Wow, there he is. There it is. Holy smokes. Another creature. Another 20 plus in the boat. Woo! Another 20 plus in the boat. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I just can't understand it. Unbelievable. Okay, we got this fish in. Beautiful female. This fish is about 26 pounds. My biggest channel to date. This is my personal best. Got it on the Red River with Captain Kent. And we're just having an awesome night here on the river. Just one hog after another. Okay, we're gonna turn this fish loose Maybe it'll grow up to be a 30 pounder. I'm almost caught up to dawn. I need one more pound to equal to him on this trip. I think I can do it. Not. We won't tell him. <laughs> oh, give me a bath. Just fantastic. You gotta love this Red River. Whew. You know, Kent, this is the outing of a lifetime. I, for, for both Eric and myself, personal best for each of us. Both of us. I mean, and in one anchor alone, he dissected the spot where we're at the doggone boat ramp, telling us, you know, for the conditions we're under, I think this evening will produce the kind of fish you guys are looking for. And Kent, all I can say is, how many outings have you taken out where, where, where you've done it all in advance and still gotten everybody these monster hogs like this? In advance, probably the third time it's ever happened to me. You know, and instead of saying the first time, obviously, this isn't his first rodeo. Kent, you know, I couldn't be more proud to be with you. You know, I heard a lot about you before we came. Uh, you know, anybody that decides to come over here to the Red River of the North, you can't help but have your most fun, your best outing ever. Eric, I, I ask Eric this every show. Where do you put this on the list of Channel Cat destinations? It has to be on the top two. The top, top two. two. You know, I knew he was going to say top two, and this time I'm going to disagree. I'm going to flat out call this the number one. 
my personal best out of spending 10 straight days with guides yes. in Lockport. With guides fishing every day, power fishing day, night, overnight, and you guys know how I love to fish. I fish hard, long, and overtime. And I've got my personal best here with Kent. Eric got his I personal got best here with yep. Kent. I'm going to tell you what. I vote for the Red River of the North right here in the Grand Forks, East Grand Forks area. So there it is. I agree to disagree, but still one and two, that's a what, a, a one and a half average? Yeah. You know, <laughs> almost number one with Eric and definitely number one with me. Kent, thanks again. You bet. Thanks for having us out here on the river. My Thank pleasure. You. Been a blast. And I'll tell you what. He said come back in May for some real fishing. I'm going to have to go to the health club first. We'll see you next time. Yeah, for Catfish in America. I'm Eric Simcox. And I'm Don Sweet. And after I work out, we'll see you next time on the river chasing them with me. Better than this.